guys. So as y'all just saw, I caught this nice brown and uh, I unhooked my fly and um, sure enough, I, I was pretty confused for a second because there was another line coming out of its mouth and uh, sure enough, poor little guys like swallowed like a little bait hook with a big swivel as y'all saw me just cut off. Uh, so I just cut it off as, as close to his mouth as I could, got that extra swivel out of the way and uh, this guy seems to be pretty lively. I'm just keeping him in the oxygen here for a second uh, so he can get his strength back. And uh, this guy's got a pretty spirited uh, will to live. So I'll give you all one more look and then we'll let him go. Beautiful fish. It's a shame he, he had the, you can kind of see the, uh, the hook down there in his throat. But uh, beautiful, nice little tailwater Chattahoochee brown trout. Look at that nice guy. All right, we'll let him go. There he goes. Poor dude, I cut the line as close to his mouth as I could, but you know, I, I hope it rusts out and I hope he's able to get big, but that's sad, but that's a nice fish. Nice rainbow there guys. He just hit my uh, my top fly, which happened to be a little a little jig hairsier. Oh man, he's still going nuts. Yeah, this guy this guy had some nice jumps for me, for sure. Nice rainbow. Oh, and there he goes. Nice fish. And Miles claimed that there was not any fish here, didn't you? All right, so y'all just saw me catch that rainbow. That was my biggest fish of the day so far. Uh, I've caught one smaller rainbow and then that last nice wild brown that I just caught with that poor swivel coming out of its mouth. But uh, how I just caught that fish, if, if you saw, this is a darker area. So there's a lot of shoals through this area, as you can see, some white water. And right here is just a small little pocket. As you can see, there's some rocks that create some bubble lines and some oxygen. So out of all these rock shoals and stuff, it's really not that deep here. Maybe maybe just uh, two and a half, three and a half foot deep. But because of that slight increase in depth compared to the rest of the area, right here is where the fish are going to be lying. There's oxygen flowing right down to them. Nice oxygen oxygenated water, excuse me and a steady supply line of uh, food flowing in the current, whether that be nymphs or bugs or whatever it is. So I actually saw that guy come up right over there in that pocket and um, he did not eat my bottom fly, but he ate my top fly, which is this small hair's ear. So I'm about to work this hole some more and catch another one. Oh, oh, oh that was so sick. Oh, nice one, nice one. My reel just fell. 